Wait. Um. What happened to my... What? Wait. What happened to our weapons? The Nimbus C update. One of the more anticipated updates of this year in Arkham Odyssey. And, well, a few setbacks happened, but we'll get over those in a bit. Let's just, let's just ignore it for a bit and let's do a small recap on it. Uh, spoilers ahead if you just didn't know. So first we start off entering the Nimbus Sea and going towards the forest of the mast. There, a group of pirates harpoon our ship and pull our ship towards the island and we were basically captured. We then proceeded to beat up said pirates. Yeah. After beating them up and getting information about the captain's whereabouts, we went towards the bigger ship of the forest of the mast and that's where their boss was located. We went through a hidey hole or like a little hole on the ship so that they couldn't detect us and we found a few Sumerian people in a cage. Basically they were captured by this these same pirates but they weren't as strong as us obviously. So we freed them and they helped us take over the place of the pirates. And finally here is where we meet the boss of this update Captain Maria. This boss is actually pretty cool. It's a pirate. It's a pirate boss, which I love. I love pirates. Like I love. Like I just love everything about pirates. And this boss actually has two stages. This is just the first stage. It has 2,000 HP. It's pretty simple actually. It wasn't that difficult of a fight for me personally, but some people do have a bit of a bit of a trouble with it. But this is just the first stage. The second stage is where things get a bit more interesting. Because that's when, you know, more cutscenes happen. And as well as, that's where you can, like, fight the boss as the mirages. That means you can farm them for their items and such. The cutscenes are amazing, honestly. Like, they're so cool. But, obviously, the player is just better than all NPCs. So, we beat them up. And this is an interesting part. Basically, if you kill or didn't kill Elias, you also don't kill or kill Captain Maria here. So if you killed Elias in the story in the past, you would kill Maria right here. But if you didn't kill Elias, you would also not kill Mar Captain Maria here, which this is basically a story plot. That means this character will show up in the future, which is going to be very cool. So yeah, that's that's this part. Captain Maria then explained to us that it was a group of it was a anonymous syndicate like assassin syndicate person that told them to basically capture any ships that comes from the Bronze Sea to the Numbus Sea, and they're trying to like stir up a war between Kerax and Samaria. So after hearing that, we go we then start our journey with the Samarian crew straight to Samaria, where we can then inform about the palace about these news once we have reached the palace we then talk to emperor or no empress Nila. i but basically we talked about all the things that has been happening recently all the all the relations with everything not everything that we did obviously because we we were the ones who killed king calvus they don't know about that obviously but well, we're going to basically help them to not start stir up a war against Kerax and such. So that, so yeah, and that was it. Like that, that was that's it. <laughs> that was the end of this story chapter for this update. Did I do it in ten minutes? Yeah. Am I still max level? No. Did it take me 10 minutes to become max level? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's 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 start talking seriously. Let's cut Vtex some slack for this. Basically, let's talk about the bug first. That sword bug or the weapons bug that happened, basically the great weapon wipe was unintentional. That was because of, of a Roblox problem. Apparently, 
basically vtex and their testers and like the the, the devs and or the mods and basically they have all already tested the swap from like the, the the weapons having levels to having no more levels or like fixed levels from like bronze C to nimbus C in the testing place already the two places are completely identical there should be nothing different from them why did i say should be is because roblox is inconsistent and i personally have also done a bit of like um game making okay i do a bit of developing on my side even though i'm just a beginner roblox is one of the most inconsistent game engines to make your games on if you want a consistent game engine roblox is not a consistent one at all and that is what caused a weapon wipe what happened is roblox like a value on roblox's side got bugged when swapping to the new level system for weapons from no from like the having to upgrade them to now you can't upgrade weapon levels anymore they are at a fixed level what had happened is levels above their max level suddenly became stuff suddenly just became really bugged they became super bugged and they got wiped it didn't matter if they were exotic or not if it just was above the max le weapon level of that weapon it would get wiped i have personally lost three to four sunken swords I don't remember anymore because I didn't keep a backup because it was dumb of me. But it doesn't matter if you keep a backup; it won't be it won't be uh, given back because of just the sheer number of people that got it wiped. I lost like around three to four sunken swords and like two sunken staffs. I lost all of my Kai sabers. I lost all of my scarlet daggers, like all of my dark sea weapons, basically, almost all of them. And man, was that rough! For me personally, I can get them back. I don't mind it. I can get them back and I still had one, at least one sunken staff remaining and one sunken sword remaining. So at least there's that. But I personally feel really bad for the people that lost their only pieces of weapons. Their, their only sunken sword. Their only sunken staff. I feel bad for them. Because they lost basically their entire weapons like thing obviously they had it ma they had it maxed leveled up obviously that they, they had any chance on it they lost it and i also personally lost my first sunken sword the one where i got it in the savant series on 29 fishes i lost that and i i, I missed that already but it's just a sunken so it's just a sunk it's just a sword in a game i have another one it's fine but it's still not fair to those who did lose it to those who did lose their own ones we did get compensated a little bit the bug did get fixed after like 30 minutes of the update so basically if just if you just joined too early you lost it we did get a compensation of like luck three it was supposed to be luck two but people outraged like why is it luck two at least luck three would be good we did get luck three it is up until the 2nd of april and obviously that's not gonna bring back those sunkins or those weapons but it is gonna help a little bit just to get back at least the uncommon weapon and such but that's besides the point it wasn't vtex's fault he could have done what he is now going to do every single time basically he's going to shut down the game first then he's going to test the update first with testers to see if anything breaks if it doesn't break if everything goes on fine then he will bring it back to the public which he should have done honestly for this one but mistakes happen like seriously give him some slack he has been making this game this update per like for six plus months all the people that have worked on it the map makers and modelers like the people the toby who made the music or other people other that I don't know about who made the music. Like seriously, this if we don't look at the setback that was I was really unlucky that happened. If we don't if that didn't happen, this would have been actually a really, really good update. Because not to mention 
I forgot to mention actually. There's a lot of new changes and a lot of new cool changes, a bit of questionable ones, in this update. Especially the new items. There, there are 10 plus new item sets in the game now. And they, they work amazing. Like they, they are spectacular. Obviously, I'm still bummed about the weapons things, but there's not much you can do. You just cut him some slack, guys. It's not his fault entirely. It's just Roblox. Like you gotta blame Roblox. This is the second time. This is the second time Roblox has backstabbed Vtex. He lost Arkane Adventures to a Roblox update. Like he worked on that for years and years, only for it to get snapped away. In one update in one day basically so he is not letting Roblox take him down again ever again he is definitely going to go through this obviously it's it's another setback but there's not much we can do it's Roblox's fault mostly like it's it is 99% Roblox's fault and it's just 1% of Vtex not just not being as careful as he should have been but again we make mistakes it's fine it is completely fine to do that um what else yeah so about the new armor sets let's let's talk about that now the update like by itself is the Nimbus C update but I don't feel as if it's a Nimbus of the update. Sure, the new C is, is actually really cool. It is, in fact, less laggy than the than the Bronze C, which is great. I, I that is that is good. That is that is great. I'm getting around 90 FPS in the Nimbus C, and I think even in the Bronze C, there's been a bit more optimizations, which is great. Awesome, Vtex, you you did something. You cooked something up for optimization. But I am having more crashes, more inventory crashes now than before. I don't know why, but that's just a thing that I'm, that's happening way more often now than before the update. I wasn't having as much inventory crashes before the update than now. So I don't know what, what's causing that, but that, is, that has been getting me in this update so much. Just crashing every single time I open the inventory almost. It's just been happening. But besides that, the new items are sick. Let me explain how they work. So there are about 10 plus new armor sets. And I already kind of know of uh, what, what proportions are they are at like for each build. So basically, builds are completely changing in this update. I would call this the Nimbus C plus the build update or the armor update. Because this generally changed armors completely. Basically, there are now armors which change depending on your build. The items change depending on your class. There's Arcanium armor. There is Archmancer armor or Archmancer mage set. And there's also the mage set. So there's Archmancer, Arcanium armor and mage set. What do they do? These three armor sets and Arcanium Arcsphere and Arcanium Bracelet as well, all of these items and all of these sets will change depending on your magic. If, if you are a magic class, they will change your magic if you try to go equip them and they will give different stats depending on their magic. For fire, it is a 75% power and it's 25% size for fire. How does it work? How much stats do you get? We are working on that. We are working on figuring that out. I'm working with Bobby Newby with the gear builder site. We're working that out and we will get that to you guys as soon as we can. But besides that, basically th this update has changed builds completely your builds are now specified and catered to your class only you cannot share builds anymore unless if you have like extremely similar classes unless you have like the exact same magic and the exact same class as well there's another thing about it and basically 
if you're not a magic person, if you're not, let's say you're a berserker, let's say you're all fighting style, you cannot use arcanium items. It is that simple. You just cannot use any of the arcanium items. That is a fact now. And let's say you get arcanium items, they will become arcanium. Like they will have no magic on them at all. They will just become pure arcanium and you just still can't use them. Same for us magics. We don't get any stats off of strength items. We don't get any stats off of vitality items at all. So only vitality builds can use vitality items. Only strength users can use strength items. And only fighting style, I mean, only, what fighting style? Only magic users can use magic style items. There's no weapons thing. There's no weapon class thing. <laughs> from what i've seen uh i just haven't found it yet or it just doesn't exist because i don't know it, it, weapons are a very weird thing it's, it's still in a very weird category right now so you they they get i, I don't know what to, i don't know what they get they get just like some samurai armor which just gives that it doesn't like change or anything but well, 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 I'll update you guys on all the armor sets later on. I just have just like not every single one. I just have like a few of them. But basically, the cool part about this is that they change. The stats on them, the armors on them, they change around. And it building is actually much more difficult, but it's much more unique now. You're not going to run Sunken Warrior all the time now. You can still run one second one right now, but second one is max level is gonna be like one thirty. So next update, if it if the level cap increases again, it's it's just it's just gonna be useless at that point. And yeah, this it's I like it, but there's some things that I don't like. One is vanity. You can't wear. Arcanium stuff even as vanity if you're like strength or something, which is I don't I don't like that As well as if you're magic and you try to wear let's say a vanity item that is of a different magic You will convert it To your magic which vtex why let me wear a poison bracelet I know it doesn't make sense lower wise, but it just looks cool. Just come on Ah it's, yeah, like, it's just a little bit of a setback, but that doesn't matter, honestly. It, does, it doesn't matter at all in the grand scheme of things. But besides that, I, like, if you, if you look, don't look at all the setbacks, like the, like the weapon bug, this is a great update. Even though it may be a bit anticlimactic on the story side, like you finished in 10 minutes, and as well as the levels, like it's, you only get 11 levels. As well as everything's level has increased, you guys said it was you guys what you guys what I said in my last update about the of the. Let me talk slowly. What you guys said about the Vindicator last update that its base level is now 110 and its crushing judgment is now level 120 to 220. Yeah, you're right. I'm mad. I can't use it, but it's just i i want to use new weapon skills on conjurer conjurer doesn't get any new weapon skills in fact they lose skills except for like double beam and snare but like i don't care about that i want new weapon skills as well as uh what like mages get uh new ultimate arts they get ultimate art leap which is sick i saw it it was so cool as well as warriors do you get new two new weapons and one of them has like a new skill technically it's more of like a musket type skill but the plunderers the four guns basically have a they have three skills and one of them is a musket type skill one of them is a must is like the chain shot so like you shoot multiple times another one is a grab but it's it's too high level so warriors just can't use it at all. Same for the th th Thalassi. It's the, the the flying phoenix on it is 290. Warriors can't use it at all. And the boss was a conjurer. So the boss was like two, level 200 something and they could use it. So like I'm just mad. Like give me, just give me a new weapon to use. There is a new weapon actually called the Semian Scimitars. 
it's a reskin of the Ravenna short sword, but it has slightly less, like it has 0.1 more speed and 0.1 less power. So I get if it is actually a bit better than it, but it's the exact same thing basically. So at least we can use it as a conjurer. Conjurers they barely get anything. Also, we conjurers lost um, javelin, so that's another thing. But yeah, that's the summary of the update. Obviously, there's another thing to mention. There's ten new items. Uh, like there's ten new item sets. Three of them are magic related. Three of them are vitality related. Three of them are strength related. So that, that's nine sets. Then we also have like some like like warrior sets. Technically, there's the samurai set. And there's also actually more than that. Obviously, there's the boss set, which is another one. That's 11. As well as there's also a lot of new ones for level 50 plus things, which is actually very interesting. And how they're going over every single set soon enough. But yeah, like... I actually really like this update because of just the sheer amount of items that got added in one update. This should be called the Nimbus C plus armor update, honestly. It's not... It, the, the Nimbus C update is kind of misleading. It's... Honestly, that's not the main focus of this update. The main focus is, on, is to be honest, the, the items, the builds. It's the build making. But yeah. There is a new Nimbus Seal chest that you can get from the ships in this update. I'll be making a ship farming guide because fighting NPCs in this update in the Nimbus Sea is actually more difficult than Atlantean stuff. Like, I'm not kidding. Getting Nimbus Seal chests is more difficult than Dark Seal chests. That is because of our level, but again, that is a crazy thing to think, to like think about. And there's also three new stats in the game healing or regeneration there's resistance and there's armor piercing i'll be explaining those three stats soon enough and there's basically there's three new scrolls about them there's three new amulets with them as well as there's three new uh gems with them as well to get those gems you just have to be above level 100 and just do anything like like any uh, any method of getting gems you will get those gems so i think Fishing might be the best one. Luck 5 fishing, I think, might be the best way to get it. So, because you get gems all the time on it, right? So I think that way you'll get all the new gems that way. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it yet. But that's that's it. That's the whole update. There's been a lot of a lot of balance changes, obviously, for every single magic, every single weapon, every single fighting style. Dodge reflex has been nerfed to one dodge reflex per person. Which, it was so weird at the first, but I'm kind of used to it now. But I want this thing to change as we level up. I want our dodge reflex charges to increase as we level up in the game. Because we genuinely need more than one in the future. Like, in the future, we will have an insane amount of size. Right now, you can still escape a lot of things with just one dodge reflex. And I get why they, they change it from two to one. It's because of like people escaping every single time and people running away from like fights and stuff with two dodge reflexes very easily and it's like super hard to catch them. I get that. But in the future, we will have an insane amount of size and one dodge reflex isn't going to cut it. What I think would be really cool is maybe like every 250 levels or so or just like at some point we can increase the amount of dodge reflex charges that we have so that way we'll be at least be able to like dodge more when we have like basically 500 size or 300 size as the norm in the future with builds so i think that will be just the best like the best scenario for dodge reflexes for being it being nerfed it, basically you can get more in the future so i think that would be fair because if we have one dodge reflex until we're like a level a thousand that didn't, doesn't make any sense at all um but yeah that's i've gone over everything 
that I know of. Uh, do you a comment if you guys know of something that I don't know of in this update. I'll try. I'll, I'll, I read every comment. Like, seriously. I read every single one of those comments. And, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the number C. Because I'm just... I'm just building stuff. And, like, I... Like behalf of vtex vtex already has already apologized but i'm also apologizing for roblox being a dumb site for being inconsistent and just taking all of our weapons i post or i do free luck five parties by the way um we're trying to get enough luck scales for this weekend i'll be doing them every weekend and if you guys need help to get your items back you can try to join enjoy my server it's in the description below and yeah that's basically it for this video so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye